Go on, run. Do it for Kim Jong Un. Do it. Run and beside them damn limos. Come on, come on, you men in suits. Run, 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 run. Run. How you all doing? It's the natural here. Hope you all having a nice time of it. And welcome back to yet another video on the channel. And it's another month, which means. It's another installment of this month in review. What? Tomorrow. And so let's begin. What up, invaders? Chris here. <laughs> Prank invasion. More like kiss invasion. Really, Amanda? That's the best you can do? Fuck you! I'm disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed in you. But yeah, prank invasion. Um, he is a prank channel who makes prank kissing videos. He's had a lot of backlash in his recent video. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to. Kissing his own fucking sister. That's right. Let me say this again before my brain legit falls and wipes out the damn window. Kissing his own sister. I mean, I thought I never thought I'd say to them when I say something like that, but jeez. His whole channel is legit just plastered kissing videos. It is legit every single fucking video he has in his whole channel is full of it. How has he got over, what's, it, what's this channel I'm on? 3.8 near 4 million subscribers, over 4 million subscribers? I mean, come on, seriously? There's a lot of YouTube content creators like me, or many other YouTubers, right, help out make way better videos, and I don't have the subs to back it up. He's just a weird individual that loves clout, he just loves being irrelevant, he just loves being a total fucking prick. Fortnite. Fortnite. Prince Harry wants to ban the best dancing game in the world, that is Fortnite. Oh, dear God, no! Yes, Prince Harry wants to ban Fortnite. Okay, why? I mean, I don't have a problem with Fortnite. I mean, I haven't, I don't really play it. Oh boy, the nine-year-olds in the comments are gonna be Little, who dare you say you never played Fortnite? It's the, it's the best game ever in the history of gaming. Okay, fine. If you like it, go ahead. Knock yourself out. The bottom line is Prince Harry wants to ban Fortnite because the youngsters in the world are A, addicted to it, and B, parents are just finding ways of just, you know what, I don't like this game, so let's just say can we just ban it in the United Kingdom so I can get some nice, nice time to myself? Because I'm a bad parent, so hey, Yunz can, you, Prince Harry, can you help us do this? And that's pretty much what it is. Prince Harry, like, I'm, I'm not saying that the reason why he's banning Fortnite is because kids are addicted to it. That's fine. It's a, it's a good game. But then you blame the parents for single-handedly forcing their children to buy the game. Forcing their children to sing on me stay on the damn fucking game for 24 hours. You don't just don't ban a game. You ban the parents getting better education. Why don't you do that? Is Fortnite ruining kids' is education and, and everything? No, it's not. It's just parents will legitimate blame anything by themselves. An Australian rugby player decided to be an utter, utter prick. This radical lad um, on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, posted a bunch of racist, weird, homophobic, all that really garbage. And now I think he's um, being stripped of the of uh, being in, as a rugby player, and also he can never play for his uh, country, Australia, ever again. His childhood dream is to be a rugby player. Playing for his country, for Australia. Now it's just gone like that. PlayStation 5. Modern Warfare 4. With the PS5, looks like to be coming out possibly next year, maybe even 2020, but they're putting their work in now. Obviously, uh, I think one of the uh, people who work at Sony. Uh, said that they're working on a new PS5, it's going to have better graphics, better CPU, just way better technology than the PS4 Pro and the new, and obviously the PS4 right now. And I think they said that 
the PC games that the, you can actually run the frames the way the PC games are right now. So, I mean, it's going to be really intriguing to see the new PS5, what's going to look, how's the new DualShock 5 going to be, and just see what games are going to be released for. So, I'm looking forward to seeing the new PS5, maybe next year, maybe the year after. And Modern Warfare 4, which has been rumoured upon rumoured upon rumoured about being the new game. It looks like it's definitely been a new game because four American football players went, obviously must have played the multiplayer probably or something like that. And it looks like it's going to be that because it's been rumoured upon rumoured upon rumoured. Please, Infinity Ward, do the right thing. Do, just don't shove a bunch of micro transactions in the game and make good maps and make the game fucking entertainingly fun. Near. No! And that just leaves the last topic to talk about in the month of April, and that is the brand new Avengers Endgame movie, which is legitimate, smashed the whole box office, making 1.2 billion dollars. And before people say yes, I, I I haven't watched the new Avengers Endgame movie. What? Oh wait, you serious? What the fuck? Please don't spoil it in the comments. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Shut up. All right. I know you all are going to do this. Don't try and watch it eventually. I just don't have the time because I'm a very busy guy. But uh, it looks amazing movie. A lot of people really love it. It's a bunch of review it's One of the greatest movies of all time. So that's the end of another episode of Tumor this month in review. Hope you all like it. Hope you all have an amazing day. Enjoy yourselves. Please like, subscribe. The natural is out.